Pass. Hello everyone, this is Manuel from Studio Duo. In this short tutorial, I'll be walking you through how to recreate this scroll effect or this slider effect on, on Framer. So yeah, then head on to your desktop. Let's add a ground up to F2. I'm just going to call this BG, H type. Then we we'll want to add, create, make this a layout, right? And give this as 20 pixels padding on all side. Click F to draw a new frame. Set this to fill, and as well this to fill. Give this a white um, background. Let's call this white. Okay. Then let's give this a 16 pixels padding. Then let's design let's design this part real quick before we add on to the slider. So click on F, drag a new frame, change this. Let's call this container. Right? Then for this container, let's give this a max width of one, two pixels. Okay. Right? So let's set this to uh, give this this container a layout set this to start so to start from the beginning and as well give this fill and give this changes to a layout remove the fill and make this 60 percent on all side move the gap then on the bottom we we'll give it 28 we'll explain later on i'm going to call this um slider header text So click on F, click on T to write a, uh, a text meets our speakers. Okay, I think that's that's it. Yeah, meets our speakers. Then change, let's give this a style of F1. Let's give this a style of F1. And change, make some changes here. Three two three two three two. Okay, changes to semi bold. I'm using Inter font, but um, on the Stripe website, I think they use a font which is so never, so never. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. But yeah, let's give this um fifty six, and make this probably one point three. Yeah, set this to. Fit content starts right to the top. Then add another text here. Changes to oh, vertical. Add another text here. Let's copy this. Okay. What's the color? 60, 60, 60. What's this? Give this 60, 60, 60. Oh, done already. Wow. Mm -hmm. Let's give this a fill. Click on F to uh, click on up to drag it to place it up. Let's give this a gap of 28, not 16. Okay. Then we want to give this uh, relative of 50% yeah. to fit uh, something like this. And if you notice the um the size of the font is 18. So let's change this also as well to 18. So the 50% now is a um, little bit too much. So let us change this to a fixed width instead. So it will just be uh, like that. Yeah. Now let's uh, add on to the slider. Slider wrapper. Delete this. Just going to reload real quick. Sorry, it's my PC. <laughs> okay, yeah. So we're just going to delete this, delete this, and remove the padding. So change it to zero. Remove the gap. Then we want to add a new frame. Right? So fill. I'm just going to copy the arrow I have in this frame here. So um, real quick, let me just show you, let me just tell you how we're recreating 
this effect. We'll be using three components right here. So this will be the main component that will be um, that will just be on page, right? Then inside that we have this container um, components here. So this is how it is. It is um, it is designed. We have the primary, and we have two blow. So one gradient blow here and another one here. Then the text also here, which would be um, 40, 40, 40. Then we have this, which would be the one like when they are not clicked on. Then this also when it has it has open. So it will be one text here. Yeah. So let us do that real quick. Duplicate this two times. Add the layout. Give this a sixteen pixels. Pardon. Okay. Set this to start. And rather, let's set this to end. Remove this. Click on this. The the second one. Okay. Change this to left. Okay. On this stripe wrapper, first thing we want to do is just give this a pattern of um zero on the top. On the left, give this 28. On the bottom, zero. Then on the left as well, 28. All right. So I think that's that's done now. Okay, on the container real quick. Let's set this gap to zero. Yeah. Let's design the, the slider. Oops. Slider. Yeah, so I'm going to set this to fill. Give it this to. Set this to fill as well. Okay, so we have this now. Now what we want to do is first create the first component. The uh, let's set this to uh, center. Okay, the first component is five four five width. And 640. That's the size there, 545 by 640. Yeah. Give this a radius of 16. Remove that. We'll be adding an, an image. So we'll call this speaker. I'm sorry, my laptop again. <laughs> Let me just reload this real quick. Okay, I will add a new frame. We'll call this speaker pad. And for this frame will be our image, so will be speaker image. We're going to make this frame absolute, which it is currently. But well, let's change this to uh, layout. Then let's make this changes to start. And let's make this absolute. Yeah. So it will be at the top and at the bottom. It give the same size, 545. And give this relative 100%. Okay, I'm just going to add my first image. Choose image. I'm just going to pick some Atma. Okay, yeah, that's that's nice. So um, this is I'm going to lock this so I won't be editing that. Then next we want to add this this speaker speaker info, right? Set this to fill. Then let's um, see what text can we have. We have two things here. I don't know why I share like this. We have to uh two text here so one which is 32 just going to write that some altman hope i'm spelling this right some altman yeah i'm right so give this 32 pixels set this to now if you notice it's not showing it's because of our speaker right here have is the index of one so let's change it to zero and add z index on this one changes to one yeah remove that give this 32 pixels 
smartman then let's as well okay three zero three zero three zero oh, so this is the reason why you should actually be creating a six color okay this will be medium right let's give this give this a layout a padding of 40 on all side to layout with content starts so to be at the right hand side then what we need to do is to create another one then we need to um, change this to vertical then this would be spotting i believe let me reload this page what size is this okay 15. so it will be 15. 15. this will be 1 em so like on the last call i did um em is the like the size you make it to one em it means that 15 times one that will be the line height 15. so 1.2 be 15 times 1.2 to be the line height in this case uh we want it to just be 15 which is similar which is the same thing with the design um here then you notice as well we have the upper case right then the padding should be eight set it at the right hand side yeah then this also if you notice is a gradient color so linear so what we're going to do now is um, get our colors so the first one is this i think this is the color yeah yeah that's it then okay well, no, almost done almost done let's get the other one okay. i think that's that's it so we are almost done right now and let's change this name I'm just going to copy uh, this see your open AI see your open AI oh, okay yeah that's good that's good now for um just I'll lock this as well because the next part I want to do now will be the gradient so I'm going to add a new frame it's relatively 100 percent that is relative 100 percent then I'm going to call this gradient pg so that is the gradient that will appear like on this if you notice this does not have any gradient until you click on it then that's that gradient so there's one at the left and one at the right so we can do that easily let's change this to absolute also remove the the color okay now real quick real quick real quick this oh let's make this let's add uh this should be should be on the top maybe two then this one here another effect should be on top of speaker i think that's that's fine then. yeah then you want to add a new frame so 736 that's the size of the gradient like 736 I want to give this, uh, just drag this. Just going to drag this. Okay. Then this, this will be. Okay, real quick, let me quickly create, turn this to, uh, Add these colors. So I want so uh, blue, light blue. Okay. Oh, we're using that here as well. So we want to use the radar effect um, on the outside one. Let's set this to transparency. Then yeah, I think we are basically done. Then on the inside, let's use blue. I think light up is, is okay. Uh, any color works fine. 
Yeah, blue is fine. Then we can reduce the opacity. Okay, duplicate um, mix again. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I'm moving it down, moving it slowly. So that's the reason why you're not seeing it that much. Okay, I'm just going to drag this inside here. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's 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 it is done. And also we want to add one more here. The reason I'm adding one more is because if you notice the text is not really um uh, uh not really visible in terms of accessibility for that opening here. So I'm just going to add one more here and give it a white text, a white um uh, background, then add a blur effect here. I'll add a blur effect on those two as well. Then yeah, then that's it. That's everything. So the gradient is done. Control L lock. Now, next thing we want to do now is change this to components. So speaker card components. So we should do call this expanded. For anyone probably open. And we can click on the first one and call this uh, default. Right? So for the default one, what we want to do for the speaker info? We want to hide it. Yeah, just hide that part. The gradient as well. We want to hide it. Then this we want to change it to 90. Yeah. Then for this part, this will be on over. I'm going to call this over. Right? Over will be 130. Now let's create some effects. Now on click on over rather on mouse enter, I should change to this. Then the effect we want to do yes. So 490, 60, and 1. So just do that 490, 60, and 1. Just the default is 500, just remove them. And that, could, that should work normally. Then with this one on over out, that is mouse leave. So we can do this and change this to. Uh, Instead of 490, it should be probably 420. And we, we can test this real quick. I'm just going to change this state to um, default and change all of them to fit content. So it will fit um, the content they are currently, as well as open auto fit. So default, if we go on to default now, we test this. Okay. Yeah, it's working. On over it shows the night. Now let's let's just make this fit content. Fit content, okay. As well as this fit content. Let me give this 28. So there'll be some gap between those two. Now that that is done, what we need to do is duplicate this, right? We just need five. And let's change this to change the first one to open. Just drag this to the left hand side, right? Yeah. So I'm just going to click change this to uh, auto fit. And this to, to auto fit. So let's let's do something. Um, let me make this to same. And auto fit, auto fit, change this to 28. And we can as well change this to fit content, fit content to fill. Okay, yeah. So they are all equally now. And also let's change this to center. All right. So we want to create um this, I'm going to call this slider component.
Okay, yeah, real quick, before we, we create these components, what we need to do now is add on to this part. If you notice, we have our image, speaker image, as, uh, where is it? Uh, as an image variable. We want to do the same for the title, and um, that way we can edit it. Or if we're using CMS, for example. So we'll call this title. And for this, we'll call this speaker name. So I think that's done. So yeah, now we can edit it. We can change this to Studio Duo. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's change this to a component. Create component, slider component. Yeah. So we have this first. We'll create another one. Just basically just us changing this to open and changing this to default, right? Get another one. So I'm just going to be calling this S, S that's one, that is speaker one. Right. Doing the same for these two. I'm going to be calling this speaker two. Calling this speaker three. Okay. So for speaker three, the third one should be open, right? Then this should close, so default. Speaker call. Default. So all of them are some Atman, but don't worry, we'll change everything. Let's watch speaker five. Changes to close defaults and open this a six. Do the same for this. Open close defaults. Okay. Speak a six. Speak a five. Ah. Oh, yeah. So, real quick, what we want to do now is change each of their name and their picture. I'm just going to wait on here and change the first picture here to let's change it to Clara. Boom. She's updated on every part. So, I'm going to copy the name here. So, she's corporate officer. And I'll just copy this. I'm going to be fast forwarding this part real quick. Data collision. Okay. And we are done. So this is everything. Now let us animate um, real quick. Show. So let us animate real quick show. So we want on click to change it to S1. Then this one on click. Just let us admit we'll be animating just the first one and it will um, replicate all true. Yeah, make it very easier for us. Change it to S3. New transition, change it to S4. New transition, change it to S5. Then this new transition, change it to S6. Yeah, we can play this now and see this. Woo! It's working, mama. Yeah, now the next part we want to do now is uh, this back button, arrow button. So let's change this from on top, let's go to remove this. 
to a new transition to change to S2. Then this one on click, new transition to change to S6 because we want it to loop, right? So this will go to S1. And this will go to S3. This will go to S4. And this will go to S2. S3. S5. S4. S6. S5. Then this should go to 1. Now we can test this again. Let's go back to home. Test again. Smooth. Yeah, now we're done already. And that's how you create that. And we can as well test this. Right. And that's how you create that. Now there's one more thing we should add to this is the autoplay. So that means after a delay. So we'll just change this to shirts. We have to change this to an event. Okay. Okay, we'll just go here and speak on delay. Okay, so there's one more thing before um, we run this up is create that auto -based. So once it's still like maybe for five seconds, it moves to the next. So let us quickly do that. So we come here and set interactions on the main um, S1. Then set it to on up here, right? Delay, let's set this to maybe four seconds. Set variant to S2. Then we'll do the same thing for this. Set variant to S3. Do the same thing for this. Set variant to S4. Do the same thing for this. Set variant to S5. Do the same thing for this. Set variant to X6. Do the same thing for this and set variant to S1. So now we go back, play, and enjoy as this scroll by itself. And that's it. That's it. We are done basically. Like you can check, you can check it below and remix this file. And also check out Studio Duo. <laughs> yeah, bye. See you on the next one.